The Stream Deck Plus is arguably Elgato's best product, or at least it's my favourite product anyway. This single device can basically control your stream, work, your entire life if you wanted it to, all in a tiny package. However, the Stream Deck Plus was missing one important thing, which has been holding it back from being arguably a perfect device, and today, that changes. This is the Elgato XLR dock, and what it does is add an XLR input to your Stream Deck Plus. Understandably, depending on who you are, you'll either absolutely love the idea of this product and think it's game-changing for your setup, or you'll have zero interest in it because you're happy with your current audio solution. However, for those of you that are kind of uninterested, Elgato actually released a second design of this dock, a USB hub instead, which you might be more interested in, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Anyway, the Elgato XLR dock is an add-on accessory for your current Stream Deck Plus, and what it does is basically add an XLR input to the back of your current device. This means you'll be able to condense your streaming and audio setup down to a single product, rather than needing a stream deck to control your content, an XLR interface for your microphone, as well as maybe a mixer or whatever to control all your audio inputs. Instead, the Stream Deck Plus and the dock can do all of that together by itself. Effectively, it's a Stream Deck Plus and a Wave XLR smashed together to create an all-in-one streaming solution. Obviously, this does mean that you need an actual Stream Deck Plus to make the dock work, but if you need to buy one or you want to buy the dock and the Stream Deck Plus together, then Elgato have built some bundles that work out much cheaper than buying everything separately. Anyway, if you do decide to pick up the XLR dock, you're going to get the box itself made from eco-friendly materials, some paperwork for the actual dock, and, well, the dock itself wrapped in some Elgato branded paper. Once you've unboxed the XLR dock though, it's now time to set it up and we need to add it to our current Stream Deck Plus. And the way that you do that is to unscrew the current base, remove these two screws, remove that, clip the dock into the USB-C slot and then tighten the two screws again and you're done. And if you've set it up all correctly, which I imagine you have because it's not too difficult, you'll end up with a device like this, which is obviously a Stream Deck Plus in the front with the buttons, the touchscreen and all the dials, but now on the back you've basically got a Wave XLR. So you've got the XLR microphone input, you've got the headphone jack, and finally both of these devices are connected via one single USB-C cable. And that's probably one of the best things about this like combo setup is now you've got two items connected, which means you're going to save a whole bunch of desk space, it's going to be great for like aesthetic setups and just be easier in smaller spaces, but also because it's two devices going to free up a USB port in either a hub or in on your PC or whatever so that's going to be great for just cable managing and stuff not to mention this is actually much cheaper than buying the two separate devices because I think if I remember correctly buying a Stream Deck Plus and a Wave XLR comes in around $360 or so whereas if you buy both of these the Stream Deck Plus and the dock it's like $60 cheaper I can probably hear some of you ask the question of why is the dock cheaper then are you missing features? Is it something different? And well, not really. The XLR dock still has 75 decibels of gain, so you can power even the most professional of microphones. It's got zero latency headphone monitoring, so you can hear yourself talk while you're speaking. It's got Elgato's clip guard built in, which basically means you're never going to distort your microphone, even if you get very loud when you're streaming. And obviously it comes with Wavelink, which means you can add a whole bunch of filters to your microphone so it sounds professional and control all your other audio sources and inputs and outputs and stuff like that. The only real difference is between between the two I've noticed is one you lose the big dial on the front of the Wave XLR because obviously now that's been moved to the small dials on the actual Stream Deck Plus instead and you lose the capacitive mute button on top of the Wave XLR which obviously isn't a huge issue because you now just press the touch screen on the Stream Deck Plus instead so obviously you might lose the physical features but you're not losing any of the functionality so not a real issue for anyone really. Thinking about it as well this would actually make a great like travel setup and it's probably something I should try at some point but now that everything's in this one package you only have to take this wherever you're going so if you're going to like a conference or if you're going to like a hotel or if you're just away from your desk all you have to do is to take a stream deck plus and a microphone to plug into it and you've got like a full streaming setup for a laptop great anyway that's enough about the xlr hub for now let's talk about the second dock for the Stream Deck Plus, and that is a USB hub. Unfortunately, I don't have my hands on one. They only sent me an XLR one to test out and stuff. Hopefully I'll get my hands on a USB hub at some point, 
But for now, I'm going to show you screenshots and pictures. So the Elgato USB hub turns that one USB-C into six different ports. So you've got two standard USB-A ports, two standard USB-Cs, the uplink to power the actual device, and finally, 100 watt power delivery for charging items like laptops. The device also transfers five gigabits per second, which is awesome however that's a combined data amount so if you're using like a webcam or hard drives or anything else that uses a lot of data and transfer speeds and stuff you're gonna have to organize in a way that you're not overloading the dock also i don't know if you realized there or noticed in that picture there's actually an sd card and micro sd card reader built into this dock which is a great feature especially as this is aimed towards creators like myself who films a lot of footage or takes a lot of photos and stuff so capturing sd cards is like an important part of my workflow so while neither of these devices are exactly groundbreaking we've seen usb hubs before and elgato's like tech here isn't exactly new it's just condensed into one product now i actually think these docks are a great addition to the elgato kind of ecosystem because it's something that people have been asking for for a while and it's a no-brainer really you've got all the control of a stream deck plus so you can control like your camera your lights all your programs work from home productivity kind of stuff as well as have the interface for now like your microphone and then this comes with wavelength software which means you can now control audio visuals and just everything all in one package however if they ever did make like a second version of this xlr dock and i know they've only just brought it out but i'm thinking about the future it would be nice if they actually did a secondary usb-c slot so you had one for your main pc and then a secondary one for like a streaming pc and then that way you'd be able to like dual pc stream easily and yes i know you can actually do it kind of now and send the audio from elgato wavelength out to a capture card and stuff but having two usb c slots would make it super simple although to be fair that probably would increase the price and it's the same as me being like it would be nice to have multiple microphones and stuff on this as well it's logistics and cost and if people actually need that stuff but i think it would be interesting to include that type of stuff in the future anyway if you are thinking of picking up one of these docks for yourself either this one or the usb hub remember to use this code down below because you'll get like five percent off your actual order i don't think it works on bundles but it does work on the single item so you should save at least a few dollars when ordering one of these docks hopefully this video was useful for you though let me know down below if it's something you're going to pick up in the future or what other things you'd like to see improved if they actually do make a second design of this and also speaking of like xlr interfaces and good audio and stuff check out this video here which i made all about elgato wavelength and how to set up your filters to get a microphone that sounds professional